you solve the following for B, whatever you do to the left side, you have to do it to the right side. And our goal is to get B by itself. So to get B by itself, we could simply divide this left side by A, because if we divide this left side by A, the A's will cancel. And so since we divided the left side by, by A, we must divide the right side by A. And so therefore, you get 1 over B equals C over D A. Now to get B by itself, you might recall the rule of reciprocals. And if you take the reciprocal of the left side, you get B. But since if you do it to the, if you take the reciprocal of the left side, you must take the reciprocal of the right side. And so therefore, you get B equals D A over C. And that is just one way to solve for B in this. Another way to solve for B, and most of you probably will do your problem like this is to cross multiply and so if you cross multiply you, multi you go diagonally so a times d equals b times c and our goal is to get b by itself so if we divide the right side by c we'll have b by itself but since we divided the right side by c we also have to divide the left side by c and that does give us a d over c equals b so this is just one type of algebra problem that you'll see come up many, many times in a physics class.